Now we will see how the data that is generated by different companies it is normalized. First we will see the FE matrix data. So the data generated by the FE matrix uh, companies it is normalized generally in two three steps. First the background correction is is uh, done by using different uh, protocols and then the normalization of probes is carried out and then the summarization was carried out and summarization means that we can summarize the different uh, probes that are present for each gene into the probe sets. So after using these different steps we can normalize the FE matrix data. For FE matrix uh, data, the FE matrix company has generated different uh, programs to normalize the FE matrix data. And one of these program is MAS5. So this MAS5 program is, is uh, coupled with the R program and it is can be analyzed by normalized by using the command MAS5 and then parenthesis we can write the information. Similarly another type of the normalization program is also developed by the FE matrix company and it is called the plier program and it is present in the plier program of the R program. And we can uh, similarly use the command as plier and then we can write the information in the parenthesis. So these uh, different types of uh, normalization programs, they help to normalize the FE matrix data. And uh, if we want to normalize the FE matrix data, the FE matrix uh, data should be present in the FE library in the R program. And whenever we uh, analyze the data present in the FE library, then after normalization, the data is saved in the form of uh, DAT2. And uh, uh, we can also analyze the data by using the command RMA. RMA we have already seen the robust microarray average. So we can use the command RMA and then we can write within the parenthesis the data sets that are present for the FE matrix in the R program. Sometimes it happens that the, after the normalization by using RMA DAT command we get the huge amount of the data and that data sometimes exceed the memory of the computer. So uh, to overcome this problem we have another command that is just RMA and then parenthesis. By using this command we can uh, uh, overlook the, the program, our program can overlook the normalization process and it create another folder in which the normalized data is stored. So the program we have to write to normalize the FE metric data is DAT2 and we use this just RMA command and we have to note that the pre-processed FE metric data is uh, now stored as a expression set and then we use the data2 because it is stored in this form and then we get the information about the data that is normalized and we can see the details that this expression set that is already is converted into this uh, format we have the storage model assay data this features samples element names sample names and so on so by using this command we can normalize the data and this data is stored in the form of uh, expression set and we can get the information and we can store the data in the computer.